Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new track guide here on F1 23. Today we're taking on the updated version of the Singapore Grand Prix. So as always we're going to be doing a slow lap first, talking through all the details of the breaking points and then going for a hot lap after to explain everything in a full high speed motion. Coming down to turn one, turn one is actually all about setting up turn two and turn three as well. The most important turn out of all of these is turn three, as this will offer you the best opportunity to gain lap time relative to your competitors and yourself as well. So what is key for turn one to maximize the rest of this sequence? It's key to not slide the rear tyres and to make sure your car positioning on the exit of turn one is oh so important. So, 100 meter board, you'll be hitting the brake and going down the gears, avoiding the kerb on the inside here as that will unsettle the car. So you're looking just to bring it up to the white line and that will be a very lovely line for you to progress through turn one with. Carrying good speed to naturally gravitate the car to this exit curbing. In real life, they drive around this curbing, but within the game, the curbing is quite flat and allows you the opportunity to be driving over it very easily. So turn two doesn't really exist. It's not really a corner. You're just looking to try and set up turn three as much as possible. What is important with turn three is to be setting up the exit with all importance in your mind. So you'll be driving all over this entry curve of turn two, trying to keep the car as straight as possible, aiming towards that bit of the gap in between the Singapore Airlines barrier where it's nice and grey, as that will give you a good line aiming towards the apex. Looking to do a mid to late apex here as the traction can be oh so slippery and using up all the road right up to the white line. If you go over the white line, you will get a track invalidation, so keep that in mind. Turn four, bring your car over the left hand side and you'll be looking to straight line the braking as much as possible. As I talked about with turn three, you do not want to be putting your tires of the, the the white line here as that will invalidate your lap. So as wide as possible without getting your right hand tires over that white line. Looking for a mid to late apex, this turn is very tight, but actually very fast because how much downforce you run around this what is now iconic street circuit looking to not take that inside curb as it will unsettle your car and cost you any chance of a perfect exit coming on to what is a dearest straight i was going to say the longest straight on the track but i'm not so sure about that now i believe the new section might just be a little bit longer flat out but either way you're going to be looking to exit right up against the wall. You can see the car is right skimming that advertising board and then opening DRS as soon as possible. What is really important is to make sure you choose the path of least resistance for this apex here and then bring the car instantly back over to the right hand side. 100 meter board or when the barrier on the right hand side turns to the Pirelli marketing then you'll be hitting the brakes as hard as possible and looking to avoid using this curb on the right hand side as it will cause you a bit of grip loss and car instability. Again, avoiding the curb on the inside as it's quite big and for a corner that needs so much precision to make sure you can maximize the exit, it's also important to compromise and not use that inside curbing and allow your car more stability towards the exit here. You will use the exit curb, just try to avoid botting him out on here. What is really critical now, as you enter the middle sector, Singapore is very tough on the tyres and sliding in any capacity, qualifying all the race will cause you excess tyre temperature, but will drop your grip in the tyres dramatically. So sometimes around Singapore, driving around 97% of the tyre and car's capacity actually works out to be faster because if you slide the car you might be faster through one corner but you'll actually eventually lose lap time gradually throughout the rest of the lap due to having less grip 
With that being said, though, keep that in mind as we bring the car to the left-hand side. Straight line the braking as much as possible. 50 meter board, you'll be going down into third gear. Again, looking for a mid to late apex here and using up all the road on the exit right up to the wall. And as soon as you're full power, bring the car over to the right-hand side and looking to open up the track as much as possible. Do not run over the white line here as that will cause you a track invalidation. As is the theme here on Singapore, mid to late apex without taking the actual curb stone on the inside. Very difficult on the exit here because the barrier falls away from you towards the exit. So you want to avoid this part of the barrier, of course, but snugly get your car to use this extra bit of road here. What can gain you a bit of time on the exit if done correctly. Coming up to the infamous and old famous Singapore sling, a corner... I kind of wish they would bring back, to be honest, it was a lot of fun, but a massive headache in a racing situation. 50 meter board, you'll be hitting the brake as hard as possible and looking for pretty much the first time on this lap to get two wheels on the inside curbing. It does unsettle the car a little bit, but getting the extra track width is way more important than uh, carrying more minimum speed here. Again, try not to slide the car, losing a bit of minimum speed. Um, is much more important than sliding the car around in this situation. Straight line the braking as much as possible, but avoid the inside curbing, as that is just such a big curb. And with a traction zone so important here, it's just way more important to make sure you get the traction down on the exit. Avoid the curb on the inside, and then bring the car as hard left as possible to open up the braking zone. As soon as you get parallel with this wall, and the Rolex sign on the right hand side, you'll be hitting the brakes as hard as possible. Avoid locking the front tires and rear tires, obvious statement, I know. And again, looking for as late of an apex here as possible because this is a DRS straight and oh so critical to get on the power. Again, avoid running all four wheels over that white line there as it will cause invalidation. Picking up the speed now for what is one of the most difficult braking zones on the track, especially with the new section of Singapore, makes it so much more important to get a good exit here. Just after the 100 meter board, you'll be hitting the brakes. So around 90, 80 meters, you'll be hitting the brake as hard as you can. And again, using as much road up on the entry as possible. Avoiding the inside curbing here and the exit can be quite misleading, in my opinion, for what is such a tight apex the exit is very 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 wide so you can generally carry more speed into the corner than you normally anticipate there's a bit of a trick here on the exit though the track is defined by the white line obvious statement i know but what's so difficult here is the temptation is to run all the way up to the wall but that will cause your track invalidation. You only can run with your tyres parallel to the white line here to keep your lap legal and valid. Keep that noted as that will save you a few penalties and track invalidations come qualifying and the racing conditions. Flat out for that kink and now approaching what is now a very, very big braking zone. 100 metre board and you'll be looking to go down the gears. I don't like taking the first curving here as now it's quite a medium speed apex and it's better not to unsettle the car. So do not take the inside curving but set yourself up to use the second part of the curving but avoid the orange curbstone on the inside as that will cause you a lot of instability. Use up all the road on the exit, it's very inviting and very fun and very satisfying to even get as close to that wall as possible. Sometimes tapping it can be very satisfying as well, but do not damage your car, as that will cost you lap time in the final apex of the lap. You'll be coming up to the final apex, and as you get to the orange mark on the right-hand side, lift the throttle to about 50%, turn the car in, and you can actually use a bit of this inside curbing if you're brave on a qualifying lap, but in a racing situation, avoid the curb as it will bring you much more consistency. With that being said, hard back of the throttle on the exit and you'll be going for a full speed lap here of Singapore as we open up the DRS. Turn 1, 100 meter board, avoid the curb on the inside, set up, turn through as much as possible, let the car rotate through and use up all the road on the exit. Turn 4, again, use up all the road, down the gears and looking for a late apex possible here and hard back on the power for the back straight. Up into 7th, 8th gear and 100 meter board down the gears, avoid the curb, avoid the curb again 
and use up the exit curve. Hard left, the black forward at the top of the screen, down to third gear, and looking for that late apex. Smooth back on the power, fourth gear. Look for that late apex, avoid that wall on the outside, but becomes so inviting, so easy to do. Now, 15 meter forward, down the gears, clip the curb on your side with two tires. Bring the car over to the left hand side, down one more gear, rotate the car, hard back on the power, over the bridge, bring the car to the left, over to the right, straight line the braking, and look for that late apex, hard back on the power, opening up the DRS, keep the car in a straight line, it will naturally gravitate you to the left hand side of the track, 100 meter board, down to third gear, let the car rotate, you've got all the road, but again, do not go over that white line on the exit, as it will invalidate your lap, completely flat out from the key, bring the car from the left hand side, 100 meter board, down into what will be third gear avoid the curve short shift to fourth use up all the road do not quite hit the wall and just a lift for this final apex of the lap and that is a hot lap here in singapore who do you think is going to be winning the singapore gp this weekend any other tracks that you want to see on this track guide series i will be covering i will be doing every single track on the f1 f1 23 game so with that being said thank you so much for the support be sure to like comment and subscribe i've been brendan lee catch you in the next video glad to see you ciao ciao